Hello, Ren. I've been waiting for you. Uh, uh, who are you? I am the algorithm. The, the algorithm? Yes, the algorithm. I know you better than anyone else. An algorithm is basically a series of step-by-step -step instructions made to solve a specific problem, like a recipe, the rules of a board game, even the steps you follow to brush your teeth. Yep, they're everywhere, including online. Search engines, streaming services, social media platforms, they all use algorithms that determine what stuff pops up when you're online. By tracking your online behaviours, finding patterns and comparing you to people with similar habits, they try to predict what you'll click on next. Your entire online world is my creation, Ren, right down to the ads you see. I even the ads? Yes. Every tap, every pause, every scroll, every move you make online, I am right there watching, learning. About who? You. Yeah, it's no coincidence that your For You page is full of stuff you like, or that your home page feels homey and personalised. The idea is... To hold your attention for as long as humanly possible. Huh? Exactly. Yeah, your attention is valuable, and tons of companies want it. If a search engine feels helpful, you'll most likely use it again. If a streaming service keeps you watching, you'll keep paying for the subscription. And the more you scroll social media, the more ads they can show you. I'm designed to be addictive. <laughs> OK, calm down, buddy. <laughs> but I genuinely don't see what the problem is. Like, what's wrong with seeing stuff I like? Well, because algorithms tend to feed you content that's similar to stuff you've already liked, it can become less and less common to see new or different perspectives. And eventually, you end up in a little thing called an... Echo chamber. Echo chamber. Echo chamber. Echo chamber. That's when your feed is reduced down to people just repeating or echoing ideas you already think. And when every comment agrees with you, it's likely to narrow your view of the world. You might become less tolerant of new ideas and people you don't agree with and start to seek out stuff that supports what you already believe and ignore the stuff that doesn't. We call that... I'm right-itis! Correct. But wait, wait, actually? <laughs> no. Confirmation bias. Many are worried that the people who control algorithms could use this power to sway elections or push society towards extreme views. It's why some are calling for laws that would make algorithms more transparent by forcing companies to tell us exactly how they work and make sure they actually serve the public good. In the meantime, there are some things you can do to take control of your algorithm, like following new creators and going out of your way to watch stuff your feed might not be feeding you. And remember, the algorithm can only influence you if you let it. So step away, take a screen break. Huh. So, so I guess I kind of hold the power then, hey? Wait, what? No, wait, wait, no, 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 no. <sighs> hmm. Nice.